everybody, AJ Ryzik here and another video today. Today we're going to be looking at keyboard launchers. Um, this is something uh, kind of near and dear to my heart because uh, I'm a big fan of the keyboard launcher. Um, you know, as opposed to grabbing the mouse and moving the mouse around trying to find the things that you want, whether you're going to uh, a dock or going through a menu or whatever, to me it's just faster to do a search by having a keyboard launcher. Um, hands don't have to leave the keyboard, uh, at least for me, it's a whole lot faster. Um, you know, along with keyboard launchers and keyboard searches, uh, I'm a big fan of, of, of uh, hot king my desktop so that uh, once again my hands don't have to leave the keyboard um, now if you're on unity uh, with uh, Ubuntu uh, oh wow it's been a while since they first enacted unity what is that back in the uh, back in the 10 series or 11 series um, but anyway uh, you know you've got the the default launcher from there and then if you use uh, the gnome desktop like I'm using you know, you've got a default launcher there so you know you can get in the case of gnome you hit that super key boom all your menus come up or you can search for something you know Libre office or whatever and uh, you know pull up whatever it is that you need to pull up um, without going to the uh, going to the mouse but uh, you know not every desktop has those uh, those default launchers in it and even more than that you know a lot of people don't like the unity launcher or like something different be it because you really can't I mean yeah they've got the lenses there um, so you can sort of kind of a little bit tweak it um, but there's some some uh, third-party launchers um, that can really give you some nice function um, you can set it up just the way you want at least on some of them you can set it up that way so uh, we're gonna take a look at a few of them by all means this is not everyone out there I'm sure that there's something that I'm missing but uh, you know, let's take a look at what we got here and uh, get this show on the road. All right, first on my list is longtime favorite Synapse. Um, I've installed it on my desktop here. Let me fire it up for you. Um, that right there is the default look of it. And, uh, you know, just start typing whatever it is you're looking for. Um, and then, like, you know, you can do a a down button and it'll give you a nice long list that you can scroll through and which will be constantly changing as you know you you type more now you can have this set up so that um, it'll do everything or certain just applications audio actions and you can use the left and right arrow keys to scroll through that and over here you can pull up preferences um, there's not a lot but um, you know it's to, I guess you could just say it's the basics you got a um, start up on login show notification icon um, different plugins not I don't have all the plugins you know but I've got a fair amount of them as you can see there's other ones available a couple different looks right now we're running the default look there's um, one that looks something like gnome do if you're familiar with gnome do I'll go over that one in a minute but there right there um, and then there is a uh, what they call it a side do which gives you something like that so yeah, it's 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 nice. It's functional. Um, downside to Synapse is that it looks like it hasn't been in development in a while. Let me, let me pull up the uh, pull it up on um, on Launchpad. I was just looking at this. Um, the last release was in March of 2012 so we're looking at over two years without a new release 
Now, I don't know, maybe there's development going on that uh, I don't know about, and they just they just haven't released it yet. Um, but, uh, you know, two years without anything new, it's, uh, it's kind of disheartening because uh, I really, really like this launcher. Um, and as you can see, some of the, some of these bugs here that are recently been reported, um, you know, there's some issues there. Now the package, if you're using any of the Ubuntu 1404 series, the package is not in um, the 1404 repositories. What you can do though is add the repository for um, what they call their their um, their testing repository. And um, yeah, I think all the testing repository is it doesn't. There's no new features or anything like that. It looks like it's just being tweaked in that so that uh, it will function in 1404. Um, once again, it kind of, you know, a bummer that uh, you know we're not seeing any new development on this uh, on this launcher because I've, you know, that was always my go-to launcher at least for, you know, for for some time. Um, anyway, so you know that's that one. Let's move on to the next. All right, next on the list is Gnome Do. Um, Gnome Do is. You know, when people think of launchers, that's probably the one that they think of is Gnome Do. Um, fired up is just, um, and actually on my desktop, since I'm running the Gnome desktop, I had to switch around the, the, the keyboard launches, but I set it up for um, Control plus Spacebar, brings up Gnome Do, and just like in Synapse, you know, you can start typing something, and boom, it starts pulling stuff up. You can scroll through, then with your with your up and down buttons and and uh, left and right and all that kind of stuff. So, very nice launcher. Um, and uh, let me go here to the preferences so you can see this. You can see here just the the bazillion plugins that uh, you know are loaded on here. I don't have all of them active. And it's just showing you the official plugins. There's more plugins that can be loaded up on here. Um, so I mean, really, if you if you're looking for the launcher that allows you to tweak the bejesus out of it, this is the launcher to get. Very um, uh, very functional too. Um, you can switch around different themes that they got. Um, let me close that up, and we'll see what that theme looks like pretty cool you know all depends on what your preferences are um, yeah you can change your keyboard shortcuts around uh, you can have it so it'll start gnome do at the first launch hide window on first launch show notification icon all kinds of different stuff that uh, uh, you can do with it um, very very nice launcher now, for the longest time, um, they, there was no development. Well, I wouldn't say that there was no development being done. There weren't any new releases coming out. Um, let me pull this up here. So you can see this is the GNOME Do on um, Launchpad. And, um, you know, 0.95.1 release came out uh, this past January. And then, oh right after Christmas was the 0.95 release and then before the 0.59 release was the 0.9 release which was way back on uh, March of 2012 so basically um, more than a year and a half almost two years uh, there was no development being done like I said uh, maybe there was development being done and they're just the, the there weren't any releases coming out but um, uh, you know for a long time it, it, it looked like this was uh, an orphaned uh, application uh, but I'm glad they're uh, they're they're developing it again even if all they're doing is maintaining um, current plugins and that sort of thing um, but reading the notes here it looks like they've uh, 
they're actually they're they're doing some uh, you know more than just maintaining things, which is good. Uh, you can always use more functionality. Um, for a, for a long time, uh, you know, back when this was not being developed, Synapse was my go-to launcher. But uh, you know, I think I'm um, I'm back to GNOME do again now that uh, it looks like uh, Synapse is the orphan launcher. Um, you know, or maybe it is being developed and we're just not seeing anything right now. But uh, um, yeah, GNOME do very very nice launcher. All right, one more launcher that I'm going to uh, show you all today, and that is Launchy. Um, you can download Launchy from uh, the Launchy homepage. Uh, I downloaded the Debian file and installed right on my desktop. Um, let me fire this bad boy up. Now, there's the uh, that's the default dialog box and same as uh, same as the other uh, launchers you know you can start uh, you know just typing you know whatever it is that you want to look for and uh, it'll pop up with all kinds of you know all kinds of related stuff now up here we've got Lots and lots of options, just like with uh, GNOME do. Um, variety of skins that you can pull up. Although, to be quite honest, I don't think that any of them look quite as good as uh, as either Docky or um, uh, Synapse. Um, got our plugins right here. And about Launchy, there's the link to their web page. And uh, Launchy is uh, multi platform, so you know, if you've got, I don't know, maybe, uh, maybe uh, you're dual booting Windows and, and uh, Linux, and you want to have the same launcher on both uh, both desktops you know this would be an option to get so that you could do that um, see if they got other skins than what we saw there well, it looks like a bunch of skins I guess uh, people can upload skins here so that's pretty cool uh, and uh, looks like there's more plugins than what uh, than what I have on my installation so uh, oh yeah you can download all these different um, plugins there so uh, you know there's more um, flexibility I guess you could say more functionality um, I played with this one a little bit and it works um, but to be honest I think I like docky better um, you know it's just one of those uh, personal preferences kind of thing um, not really knocking them or anything like that I'm just uh, I like Docky. Um, there is one other launcher that, uh, and unfortunately, I could not get it to work with the GNOME desktop, but I've used it with Elementary. Um, let me pull it up here. And it is called Synapse Indicator. And uh, if you look at the uh, if you look at this picture here on Noob's Lab, um, you can see it's just like a little magnifying glass at uh, that resides on your on your top bar. Um, I had for a time I had uh, Elementary OS installed on my laptop, and I had this uh, uh, Synapse Indicator installed there. Now it is a um, it is still in early development. Um, and really, there's not a whole lot of function there. Um, one of the things that I did not like, although they say that there is a quick launch 
um, it, I never could get that to work so I ended up taking my mouse clicking on the little magnifying glass and then I could type in what I was searching for and to me it was like well you know if I if I've got a you know use the mouse to start the thing up there's kinda no point in having the, the keyboard launcher um, that's just me um, but like I said this is still in early development here it is on the unity desktop um, I said I could not get it to work on the gnome desktop um, not exactly sure why it wouldn't work but uh, no, it didn't um, but anyway that is one more uh, uh, option as far as keyboard launchers so that about wraps things up for this video hope you enjoyed it uh, be sure to uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video subscribe if you want to keep gr getting this uh, great content as always leave comments questions all that kind of stuff in the comment section below uh, and also, you know, if you got a request for an OS that you want me to review or a specific application software, whatever, maybe a tutorial, be sure to send me a message or leave, leave me a note down in the comment section and I will get right to it. Thanks for watching.